Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in this video we are going to add visual effects to our game, specifically the heat effect and the death effect. So, first let's create our heat effect. Create a new scene, make it a sprite, add an animation player to it. Right away add this node to effects group, rename it to heat effect, save it. In the resources folder I'm going to create a new folder effects and I'm going to save it here. So now we need to set the texture. We set the texture in the animation tab since the animation has three frames set the horizontal frames to three and in the animation player create a new animation. It doesn't matter what the name will be I will name it default. Set the autoplay and load to on Let's set it to 0.3 seconds, zoom it a little bit in, and connect the frames. By the way, I have already covered how to use animation player in Godot in one of my tutorials, so if you need an introduction, you can watch it. Now as I have added this frame animation, I need to add another track, call method track specifically, connect it to heat effects. And when the animation ends, here insert key and call the method q free. So what it does is that after the animation is played, it deletes itself. So we don't need any additional code for it. In fact, we don't need any code, as you can see. So now we can make the death effect. And because they are quite similar, the only difference is the different texture. I am going to duplicate it in the effects folder, duplicate it, name it deatheffect.tscn, open it, rename it to death effect, of course, and change the texture of it. But because the texture has four frames, as you can see, we set it to 4. Oh, by the way, we need to make the texture unique. I'm afraid it could have changed here. Oh no, it didn't. Good. Now in the animation player, we need to add one more frame. So make it go for 0.4 seconds. Move the queue free and add another frame. That's it. Now we can make this effect spawn. Go to your entity base script and here let's first create new variables. Effect heat and effect diet. They will be both packed scenes and make them export variables too. And in the inspector, now set them. Drag the death effect to the effect diet and the heat effect to effect heat. Now we can come back to our script and we can add them. I'm going to create one method for them. One, because although they are different effects, by the most part, as you can see, they do the same functionality. And if you think about it, they will do the same things. They will spawn, then they will move to a certain position where they are played, and then they will disappear. And that's all. So create a method called spawn effect. It will receive two arguments, one of them being the effect itself and the other one is the effect's position, that by default equals to the entity's global position. Because who knows, maybe you will need to create an effect somewhere else. And in the method, check if this effect scene exists, if so, instantiate it, add it to the scene tree and change its global position on the effects position. Good, now we can call it. In the hurtbox area entered, we will call it after the knockback here. And in the die method, we, are call we need to call it right before we queue free. Good. Now let's check it. And it's not working. Why? So here is the tricky part. Check the player and the enemy base. For some reason, they don't have their effects set. However, if you set them by default, they will appear. Why does it happen? Because by default, as you can remember, we set the effects to null. But then we change it in the entity base. So, 
these two guys here, they have created their variables, but they just didn't receive the new value of it, because they had it like now here. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> so set it by default. Now check it again. As you can see, it's working now. Both the enemy and the player create effects, and when one of them dies, they also create the death effect. So that was it for this video. It's really just a very simple base on making effects, but still that's something. <laughs> I hope that was helpful and you liked it, and if you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on me on Twitter and YouTube. It was Ives and until next time.